2019 Sophia Round of the World Scholars Cup. Applause. Please clap. Noise. Clap. Noise. Sometimes that means putting your hands together back and forth. That's called clapping. Let's let's practice that. This is our third time at the World Scholars Cup, and it's extremely important for us since our students show. Um, their uh, cross curricular knowledge as well as meet new people. I want to make sure we have all of your names. Next up, we have one of our larger delegations, I believe. Yes, yeah, relatively larger. We welcome the scholars from the British School of Sophia. This is all Pakistan. Okay. It's Jerry. Jerry. And this one? Jerry. It's also Jerry. Say, hi, Jerry's. Hi, Jerry's. Why we believe it's so important for students is that our program seeks to do something a little bit different. We want to introduce students to a global community where they can meet students and peers and friends that span continents and countries while at the same time having a great academic learning experience. One that's a little bit different from things they might do in school. One that's perhaps a little bit more fun and maybe a little bit less stressful. In the World Scholars Cups, our students are debating, they are also showing uh, their knowledge into quizzes and in creative writing too. So roughly three, three rounds the first day and there is another one on uh, in the next day when they're doing like the scholars ball um, and this is like they're sitting in the room all together and they're like participating in uh, multiple choice quiz. The money for the participation, the funding basically was uh, actually raised by the students themselves but with the bake sales and with the help of our parents and teachers. I've been with the program for about five years now and I think the the reason that the World Scholars Cup um, is, is so inspiring for students to return to is that it gives them a sense of confidence and confidence in both themselves as active uh, public speakers and active writers but also um, confident as people who pursue knowledge, as people who can think that learning um, can be inspiring and great. Uh, so I think the World Scholars Cup helps students find that part of themselves, that learning doesn't have to be dull, doesn't have to be boring, that it can be a, a journey of discovery that they can undertake with their friends and make new ones. So I think in that process of gaining confidence, that's why students keep coming back and um, they keep wanting to join the World Scholars Cup. So we have a um, brand new uh, topics out for this year regarding mystery, regarding historical figures that were uh, marginalized, so I think it's going to be quite an interesting year. So the new theme for the upcoming year is A World on the Margins, and it, there will be all sorts of material on um, historical people that have been marginalized on um, mysteries and many, many more. I am the program producer of the Scholars Cup, which means that I focus on producing the regional rounds, global rounds, as well as the tournament of champions. Um, for the regional rounds, I guess the biggest struggle for kids is the fact that a lot of them have just only been introduced to the World Scholars Cup, so for some of them it's the first time debating um, with new teams or just debating in general. For um, some of the scholars, it's the first time having teammates and being able to write collaborative essays um, or you know, doing the Scholars Challenge. So for a lot of them, because it's a first time experience, they don't really know what to expect. But hopefully by the second day of the regional round event, by the time they receive their alpacas and by the time they make friends, um, they are a lot more comfortable in not only the academic side of what the World of Scholars Cup is about, but they're also comfortable being in a group um, of scholars is what we call them. Um, they are more comfortable being together, but also they share a common bond with one another, and whatever that bond may be. For some of them, they will finish the challenge today and feel that it was very difficult, and so they might bond over that. 
and for some of them they might do very well in their debates and they might bond with several other scholars who did well in the debates. Another problem you would see scholars face is that um, English is a second language. So for some of them they are not as confident um, in English uh, compared to their mother tongue. Um, but at the World Scholars Cup, we are never grading them on how well they can speak or write English. We're grading them on their ideas. And yes, they have to um, produce that in English, they have to write in English, they have to speak in English, but it could be the most basic form. Yeah. Everyone gets a recognition for their effort, everyone, almost everyone receives a medal, but the top prize is going on the global round somewhere else around the world. Mm -hmm.